In the previous video, we saw how to name the binary ionic compounds. And in this video, we are going to show you how to name the compounds which contain polyatomic ions. First of all, I want you to check this table over here. We will use this table to name our compounds. If we have, for example, NaSO4, how can we name this compound right over here? So what will you do? You'll just name normally this SO4 from the table or from the previous table is sulfate. So you'll just write it as it is exactly from the table, sulfate. And this Na2, what is it? This is sodium. So you'll just write sodium sulfate. And that's how you can simply name the polyatomic compounds or the compounds which have many elements. Now we named like this because this cation over here is from type 1. That's why we named it like this simply. Now what if we we have a compound like this? FeNO3. How can we do this? So we, saw, we can see here that Fe is the type 2 cation because it can sometimes give 2 electrons and Fe can sometimes also give 3 electrons. So how can we name this? First of all, we'll start off by naming the polyatomic ion as it is. So this from the table is written as nitrate. Now how can we name this? We know this that this is ion. Now what should you do? Now from the polyatomic ion table, we saw that this here nitrate is written with a minus. It means that it needs one electron. And because we have here three three of this nitrate it means that we will need three electrons so it means that the ion will give three electrons so we'll write here ion three nitrate 